So I'm here today uh, at the Young Thinkers Conference that we're hosting. Uh, it's a really important event in our calendar. We do it around the country. It's getting those who are young thinkers together here in India to think through some of those important uh, challenges that are facing India, whatever they may be, on the foreign policy side, on the domestic side. And I was talking to them about what a strategic partnership really could look like, what uh, it should mean to the two partners, in this case the UK and India. And I'm really proud that today, it's a good day that it should happen, we've had reconfirmed something which we do draw attention to time and again, which is the United Kingdom is uh, the single largest G20 investor in India. That's one of those sort of underlying uh, qualities that you expect out of a strategic partner. It also matters uh, the other way. India itself invests more in the UK than it does in the rest of the EU combined. This is an example. It's not all about trade and investment, but it's an example of what is really important. And then in four days' time, uh, we are launching at Buckingham Palace, or the Queen is launching with Prince Philip at Buckingham Palace, the year of culture 2017 between the UK and India. And honestly, I can think of no two countries that uh, could more uh, uh, effectively demonstrate that partnership between them than the UK and India on culture. The sharing that we have from fashion and music and poetry and literature and theatre. That's what uh, should underline a, s a strategic partnership, real affinity and common interest. And that's what I'm glad we're celebrating today.